Hi everyone. This is I teach you again on YouTube, and if you are still not subscribed, subscribe to our channel. This is the part 2 of learning how to design a single phase induction motor from A to Z. In this part, I'm going to show you of how do we simulate the mathematically designed motor in our part number 1. Hence we are able to get a rough idea on how this design would be worked in the real world. But remember that simulation is not 100% correct, and is only for our reference. But it is a part of engineered designing. Before going to simulate the design, we should able to find, and list up clearly the required characteristics and parameters of the demonstration in exact values or deterministic amounts. Hence for our design, some parameters we have been built up, and some special information of characteristics have been provided by the manufacturer of raw materials. Therefore, for your acknowledgement, if I listed up the array of these parameters respectively, it is as follows. For your reference, I'll show you on the right hand side of the screen, while moving towards the simulating. Hope you have downloaded the answer of Dancy's Maxwell Motor Designing Software from the link I was given you in our part 1, episode number 9. With it, I'm going to open a project under single phase induction motors and name it as something. This motor is a constant power maintaining motor, and rated power output is 0.75 horsepower, where the supply voltage is 230 volts and the rated speed is to be at 2900 RPM. I'm going to make it for the operating temperature of 50 Celsius and the frequency of 50 Hertz. Now I'm going to configure the showing parameters on the simulation. Under the machine, since this is a single phase induction motor I'm going to leave this, and two poles correct. Rotor type is inner, since the rotor is connected through the bore of the stator. Friction loss is assumed to be 0.1 watts and, but the windage loss I'm assuming, is as 20 watts. These measurements we have been observing, since a very long time in our production cycle. So we know roughly, this amount would be lost. But if there were some special conditions such as damaged bearings and higher friction, the loss would be extremely high. Reference speed or the synchronous speed is 3000 RPM, since 120 times 50 Hz divided by 2 poles. Starting method is PSC, permanent split capacitor as we previously discussed in this tutorial and the capacitance value is 20 microfarads as we calculated. If you don't remember please scroll back to where the calculations were done by me. Running resistance or the main resistance is 5.9 ohms as we found it after our calculations. Hope remembered how we calculated? Well that's all to be filled here, and let's head in to configure the stator of the motor. When I was taking over both the stator and rotor I found the dimensional drawings of each component given by the manufacturer, and if you don't have the dimensions, use a micrometer and a caliper, to get accurate measurements of each component. In here the outer diameter is 106.5 mm, stack height is 65 mm and inner diameter or the bore is 55 mm hence the overall width is 106.5 mm. Stacking factor is 0.989 for both stator and rotor as the manufacturer informed. Material for both components is the same, and it is iron. Total no of slots is 24 and the shape of the slot is available in this software at the third place. Dimensions for both slots and rotor and stator have provided to me by the manufacturer and the data is as follows. So that's it for this section, and now let's head into the winding of the stator. 